Hey everyone, I'm Melanie from Streamline Legal, where we help law firms get the most out of their practice management software. And tonight we're starting a short series on exporting your data from Clio. You know, I talk a lot in um, videos and when I'm talking to um, clients about how it's very easy to get data out of Clio. And in fact, that's one of my favorite things about Clio, frankly, um, is the ease with which you can get data out. And of course, it helps with all kinds of things. If I want to use an integration, um, obviously, the more data it can get out, the more useful it's going to be. Um, so there's a lot of great reasons. But one of the things that I wanted to highlight in this short series is how you can get the data out yourself in case you want to do something with it, in case you have something you want to use that data for. Um, so I wanted to show you over the next couple of videos, I'll show you some of the ways that you can get data out of Clio and what, why you might want to do that and what the most useful things are to do with that data. So um, let's dive over into the software and I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. So when we come into our Clio account, we're on our dashboard here, and there's a, lot, a number of different ways that we can get data out of Clio, but the one that we're going to be focusing on tonight is what we call the exports page, right? So it's not actually on any Clio menu. You'll have to come up to the actual um, address bar in the browser. And I'm going to go ahead and come back, delete a few characters here. I'm going to come back to app.clio.com slash, and I'm going to type in export, right? And when I do that, and I'm logged into Clio, it will take me to this export page. And so what we can see here, give me one second while we hop onto the right account so that you can get all of that good data out of here. What we're gonna see on this export page is that we've got some really great files that we can get out of here. Let me show you what they look like. So pretty much everything. I mean, we got bank transactions, bills, calendars, calendar entries, communications, contact notes, so on and so forth. Um, and in fact, for those of you using that PI add-in, they just actually added um, these PI tabs so that information that you have in those PI tabs can now be exported as well. Now, you'll see that a lot of this data can come out as a CSV file. That's, of course, going to be really helpful to drag that on into or open that in Excel and be able to manipulate it however you want, right? So if you're a whiz at pivot tables, that might be really easy to build some custom reports by exporting that uh, data on some, with some regularity and being able to build those reports that maybe if it's reporting on something that Clio doesn't already report on. Um, so that can be really, really useful. But do keep an eye out for the different types of files because of course, for the financial ones, we have bank transactions and bills. Those can come out and as a CSV that can go into QuickBooks or um, an IIF file, something like that. Um, so that might be helpful for you. And the calendar, they actually have calendar entries in two different formats, right? So I can actually take it out as an Outlook or iCal kind of file that I can then upload straight to a calendar program like that. Or I can put it into a CSV and then a lot of calendaring programs will allow you to import in that way as well. Um, so that can be really helpful. I'll tell you the one I don't find too helpful is um, this documents. It says see documents page. And if you click on it, it's going to go ahead and it's going to bring you to the documents tab with all the documents. That doesn't really help me. There's no great way to export those in bulk. Um, so my best advice, if you're trying to export data, or I should say, if you're trying to export documents, my best advice is to go ahead and download Clio Drive, even if you just use it temporarily and don't use it regularly. Um, that will allow you to get those data, uh, those documents out in bulk. And so if you're trying to get documents out of Clio, that is my best recommendation as to how to do that, is to pull those out using the Clio Drive and take them in go ahead and install Clio Drive. Once it's installed, go ahead and copy or cut, whichever, um, and paste those files into another drive on your computer or in the cloud. Um, and that's the easiest way to do it for documents. But with respect to this exports page, um, we've also got our tasks over here, again, in two different formats, depending on what you're trying to do with them. Um, so this can be a real nice way to find things that you might not otherwise be able to export very easily, okay? now. Stay tuned tomorrow night because we are going to talk about, depending on what you're trying to export, there may be a better way to do that than this export page. So again, this is another tool that you can use. Keep it in your toolbox in case you want to figure out um, if you need to get this stuff out. 
but keep watching because again, for a lot of these different things, there are other ways that we can export them. And we'll talk about those tomorrow night. In the meantime, if you're looking to get more out of Clio, please do check out our Streamline Legal Plus, where we offer exclusive content that will help you take your Clio account to the next level. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. I'll see you soon.